This is Iron, a catwalking robot unveiled by Chinese EV giant Xpeng. Its debut caused quite a bit of a stir online because it may look just a little too real. China has created a robot so human-like that people mistook it for a person and it'll be available for purchase way sooner than everyone had expected. Is the future of robotics a hyper-realistic assistant from China, a perpetually delayed prototype from Tesla, or a 20,000-pound paperweight that can't even load a dishwasher? The race for the first true humanoid robot is on, and the winner isn't who you think. Let's cut through the hype and look at the data and see who's actually winning. China has created a robot so human-like that people mistook it for a person and it'll be available for purchase way sooner than everyone had expected. A Chinese company named Xpeng, which up to now was known only as an electric car company, held a launch conference where they had what could be the world's most lifelike robot named Iron walk out by itself. The audience at first didn't believe Iron was real until the presenters began breaking the robot apart live on stage to reveal the machine wirings and metal frame underneath. But then the company did something even more surprising. They showed a video of how their factories are already planning to mass produce iron with the CEO announcing that buyers can fully customize it with bionic muscles, a soft skin-like exterior, and even gender selections before finally revealing that iron will first be available as tour guides and sales associates in their headquarters and then appear here on the market for public purchase within only just a few years. While Elon Musk is promising a future of robot butlers, Xpeng is actually building it. They're on track for mass production by the end of 2026. The Iron Robot is a beast, powered by three of Xpeng's own turning AI chips, delivering a staggering 2,250 tops of computing power. Compare that to Tesla's Optimus, which has repeatedly missed production targets and recently halted production due to design flaws in its hands. Xpeng is not just building a robot, they're building a production line. Now let's check out some comments. Gooners when they heard about gender selections. China cooking Tesla. Tesla Optimus is cooked. This is Iron, a catwalking robot unveiled by Chinese EV giant Xpeng. Its debut caused quite a bit of a stir online because it may look just a little too real. Many suspected that it was actually a woman hiding inside. Some even did frame-by-frame -frame analysis, pointing out what seems to be a bra and an ear. The discussion got so heated that Xpeng posted a second video to clarify that Iron is indeed a machine, not a human being. And the company's co-founder and CEO is calling on people to spread the word. It's but it's not really surprising that people think the robot is fake because the company has said its goal is to build the most human-like robots. And the female-looking iron is equipped with a so-called skeleton muscle skin bionic system designed to mimic human movements. Xpeng says it plans to mass produce the robot by the end of 2026 for uses like industrial inspections. Iron is the electric car company's foray into China's rapidly expanding humanoid robotics market, expected to reach $120 billion by 2030, according to Chinese state media. The fact that people online had to do frame-by-frame -frame analysis to prove Iron wasn't a human in a suit speaks volumes. And yes, I know what you're thinking. It looks like Frieza from Dragon Ball Z decided to get a day job. How about you transform into someone who can get some pitches, monkey? But jokes aside, this is serious engineering. Xpeng's goal of creating the most human-like robots is not just marketing fluff. The skeleton muscle skin bionic system is a real engineering feat designed to mimic human movements with unprecedented accuracy. While the internet was busy debating if it was real, Xpeng was already planning to deploy these robots in their headquarters as tour guides and sales associates. The Chinese humanoid robotics market is projecting to hit $120 billion by 2030, and Xpeng is positioning itself to take a huge piece of that pie. And here are some comments. I swear China and Japan are 20 years forward while the US is 15 years back. Meanwhile, the US can't even fly planes right now. Most likely, the US will ban Xpeng or forcibly seize its technology. This is not how I thought the humanoid robot arc would progress. And so you've probably seen that Neo robot, but this video is not about that. It basically went viral due to the amount of people just 
making fun of it. But if you thought that was awkward, watch this video till the end because the car company X Peng just released the Iron Robot. And its whole showcase was basically it being able to walk extremely like a human, like literally almost identical. But the presentation afterwards is what's really interesting. So here's a list of promises X Peng is making for the Iron. First of all, you can order the robot in different sizes, not just the actual size of the robot, but different body types such as slimmer or wider. And even different genders. Yeah, it's happening. And apparently you're supposed to suit it up. Like, yeah, now we have enough money to buy outfits for our robots. It's promised to have movement abilities almost exactly like a human, like being able to squat, get up after falling down. And I like how they specified the spine is definitely bendable, unlike what's happening here. But there was actually one thing they mentioned that sounded really practical. Basically, after years of testing, x came to the conclusion that the best use of humanoids may not be in factories, or doing housework, but instead in commercial settings providing services such as sales presentations or product tours, which does make much more sense. This home assistant thing doesn't seem to be going anywhere. We're gonna wrap it up. Gonna wrap it up. This is where Xpeng outsmarts the competition. Instead of promising a robot that will do all your chores and failing miserably, they are focusing on practical commercial applications. Using iron for sales presentations and product tours is a brilliant first step. It's a controlled environment where the robot can excel and provide real value. This is a stark contrast to the do-everything approach of the other companies, which often leads to disappointment. Xpeng has clearly done their homework and is taking a pragmatic approach to a very complex problem. You got this, Neo. You got it. And that took five minutes. Now let's talk about the One X Neo. For 20,000 pounds, you get a robot that takes five minutes to poorly load three items into a dishwasher. Let that sink in. For the price of a decent used car, you get a machine that struggles with a basic chore that most humans can do in under a minute. The reality of the Neo is that it's not truly autonomous. It relies on a remote human operator for most tasks which raises serious privacy concerns. Are you comfortable with a stranger looking into your home to help your expensive robot put away the dishes? While One X is selling the dream of a household robot, Xpeng is building a practical, commercially viable product. And now for more comments. 20K for a professional chore rage baiter? I might as well just do the dishes my damn self at that point. It's like watching my teenager load the dishwasher. So what have we learned? While Tesla is stuck in prototype purgatory and 1X Neo is a comedy of errors, Xpeng is quietly dominating the humanoid robot race. With superior technology, a clear production timeline, and a practical go-to-market strategy, the Iron Robot is poised to be the first commercially successful humanoid robot. The future of robotics is here, and it's speaking Mandarin. What do you think? Is the Xpeng Iron the real deal? Or is Tesla just a few software updates away from catching up? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on all things China and tech, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, bye. Today, Junior!